Hi everyone, I'm Jake Gill. This is the Technophiles Newscast, and we're talking about La Echo, a tech company that wants to give its smart cars away for free. La Echo is a Chinese tech conglomerate, formerly known as La TV, and they just brought out La C, and we're all La Sign over trying to keep all these names straight. The company's founders showed off La C at an event held in Beijing shortly before the Beijing Auto Show, which is taking place this week. The company has been calling La C a Tesla killer. So let's see what makes this car so special. The C in La C stands for Super Electric Ecosystem. The company wants to make La C a connected, integrated, self-driving car. Given the company's background in e-commerce, cloud services, TVs, smartphones, and a bevy of other technological services, it makes sense that they would be trying to build an integrated, connected car. La C currently has a claimed top speed of 130 miles an hour. And while that's not as ludicrous as the Model S, they do hope that the car will go faster than the Model S when it's released in 2018. Some other interesting and notable technologies that can be found on the C are a giant LED screen on the front of the car that they hope to kind of integrate into cab services, super cool memory foam seats for the rear passengers, and a transparent roof that gives lots of cabin space. The company, La Echo, filed for 833 patents last year, which is a ton. I actually think it's more than Apple and Google and a bunch of other tech giants. This car is literally bursting at the seams. <laughs> no, I can't do it. As I said before, rollout for this car is slated in 2018, although there are concerns over a few things such as the cost of the car, which is currently unknown, and what happens when this car runs into limited connectivity issues. Does this car even work? Is it even cool anymore? Who knows? La Echo isn't the first company to tackle electronic vehicles in China, but their business model is certainly getting a lot of hype. The ultimate dream for La Echo is to actually give away the hardware, in this case the car, entirely for free. They hope to subsidize a lot of that cost by providing users with things like in-car entertainment, subscription services to keep us occupied while the car drives itself. The company ho also hopes to get involved in the timesharing electronic vehicle market with companies like La Share, which are currently operating in Beijing and Shanghai and hope to expand in other cities in the near future. What do you think about this new Tesla killer? Let us know in the comments below. Or if you know why every single company I mentioned today uses law at the start, let us know too. You can tweet us at TechnophilesPod or visit our website at technophilespodcast.com. Thanks everyone for watching. If you want to check out some more of my content, you can see me on the Technophiles podcast over here, or you can check out some of the other news shows I covered over here, here, and here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.